Sometimes you have a large data set and you want to create a subset of that large data set. You may not want to use all of the variables and the variables remember are these columns and you may want to use a categorical variable like whether it's a fair fireplace or not or in this particular one I'm going to look at the value of the land and categorize that by waterfront or not waterfront. And here they use zero as a code for not waterfront. Lots that have waterfront would have a one. So we're going to separate this using pivot tables. To create a pivot table, I'm just going to click somewhere in my data set and then go to insert pivot tables from table range. And Excel is smart enough to go ahead and select the correct range of all the data because I clicked inside the table and I want a new worksheet. So I'm going to click OK. In this section of the pivot table, these are the fields, or I like to call them the columns in the, the data set, the variables. And here I'm interested in lot size and whether or not it's waterfront and then the value of the land. Now, one of the things I want to do is to have one record for each of my lots. And so to do that, I'm going to take the lot number and drag it down into rows. Let me try that again. There we go. So now I've got the lot numbers. And that just is going to assure that my values, I have one for each because there's only one lot with each of those numbers. The next thing I want is to put the land value over here in values. And I also want to have the uh, size of the lot. And I'm actually going to put that in front of the land value there. I like that better. So I've got uh, the lot number, which makes sure I just have one uh, row for each of my lots the lot size, and the land value. Last thing I need to do is to filter it for waterfront. And so then I'm just going to take the waterfront variable and drag it down into the filters box. Now you can see up here I've got the waterfront filter and it's got all, which says it's got both waterfront and not waterfront. So I'm going to click and go to waterfront, select the one and click OK. And you can see we've just got very few of those lots are a waterfront. Now I just need to copy this data and I'm going to select it. I don't want to need to get the grand totals there. Control C to copy and now I'm going to insert a clean sheet and then I'm going to put in the A1 cell, the corner, and then right click paste the values and that gets you a clean set of data. So that's my data for lots that have waterfront. Now I'm going to do the same thing again. Go back here to my sheet and this time I'm going to change the filter and go for not waterfront. Click OK. Now we've got a much bigger data set and to get it, I'm just going to select the top there and then use the control key on a PC. I think it's the command on a Mac. The control key, shift, and then the down arrow. And that goes down to the very bottom. And I'm just going to go control C to copy. I'll delete this bottom row when I get it over there. Now I go back to my new sheet. And I'm going to go over here to another column and then control V to print those in. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom, as we said before. And there I'm just going to get rid of those grand totals. I don't want those. So there I've created a data set that has two components, one of all the lots that have waterfront accent. And you probably should label it up here. And this group is another data set with no waterfront. 
So there I've inserted a column here and put waterfront and over here I type not waterfront. So that's my two subsets I needed. Hope this helps.